This is Nutmeg. She didn't make an appearance in the last vlog, but she does hang out with me in my studio as well. The other cat's name is Pepper. So this is Nutmeg. And then I also have a Sugar, who she's a little bit more of a snobby cat. So she doesn't hang out with us as much. Nutmeg likes to hang out up here on my shelf. So this shelf is so that I can film easily like a desktop view. So we've cut out this circle in the shelf and then I just lay my camera down to give that desktop view. Nutmeg will sometimes come and put her little paws through like this and interfere, but we don't mind. It's Wednesday the 22nd of February. I am so glad you guys enjoyed the studio vlog that I put out last week. It means that I'm definitely going to make more studio vlogs. I'm really, really glad you guys enjoyed it. It's Wednesday. I'm already mid-week, like work week. I've actually, this week so far, I've not been working. I've just been taking a few days to myself for some self-care. So sometimes in life, things come up and you're just going to take the time for yourself. And so that's what I've been doing. And today, I think all I'm going to be doing is just... I'm going to clean my studio because my studio is really, really messy. Since I shipped out all the journals, I haven't packed up the packaging. I've got like bits of rubbish and stuff all around the room that I need to put away. I want to put everything in its rightful place, clean the surfaces so that I can sort of prep for work. Today, I also just want to do some journaling just for myself. So again, just like another self-care activity. I'm going to sit down with my journal. I haven't even had a chance to use the Valentine's Day kit that I created in my journal yet. So I really want to do that. I want to have a play with the kit in my journal. I've just got heaps of catch up journaling that I'd like to do. I feel like that would be nice, a nice thing for me to do today. And also it kind of is, it's still work because I'm filling out the last few pages in my journal and then I can share a flip through video. But yeah, I'm just going to be taking it really easy this week. I'm going to start thinking and planning the next journal collection that I'm going to make. And then next week I will probably start building covers for that. So. I'm going to just be kind of taking a bit of a breather this week.
This morning I went thrifting. I got quite a lot of stuff. I went to three different shops. So I got a couple of craft supply sort of stuff and then I also got some craft storage sort of stuff. So I'll give you guys like a mini thrift haul. I'll show you some close-ups of the stuff that I got. This is my little pile. I found all these really cool vintage tins. I ended up choosing three of those and yeah I also found some other cool little goodies so I'll show you guys what I got. So the tins that I got, I got this little one. I need to take the sticker off, but this one cost me $2. I always just collect vintage tins whenever I come across them. There was a lot of vintage tins at this shop. And actually at all of the shops that I went to, I saw vintage tins and I just picked three. I could have gone crazy and picked more for sure, but I just picked three. So I also got this one, again, $2. I love the tins that have cute little graphics that go around the sides of the tins so that when you've got them on a shelf you can see the graphics and I just thought these were so cute with the kids playing and the horses and then I also just got this little one. It says the fashion watch, watch the fashion but I just thought it was such a cool long shape. I thought that maybe I could use it to put paint brushes in or something like that. So maybe like a little travel kit with paint brushes or pencils, you could use it like a pencil case just nice and long and slim. I just thought that one was cool as well, so I got those three. As well as that, I also picked up this little set. This cost me $5. So $5 for this set. And it's got like all the little numbers inside here. The instructions for the game, really, really old. And then all the little game pieces inside here even the pencils and stuff so it's like a full set i also picked up this little linen so every time i go to the thrift store the op shop i pick up linens but i've become more and more selective so because i have such a big collection of these now i don't just pick up every single one that i find i just pick the ones that are very unique and sort of things that i don't have already and i just thought this one was so cute with the horse and the rider i also saw these two little wire baskets so these two in the green color, these are so cute. They didn't have a price on them. I'm pretty sure they only cost me like a dollar each. And yeah, I just thought I could use these for storage in my craft room. They're just really nice quality wire baskets. So just handy. I could put washi tapes or something in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them yet, but I just thought those were so cute and a cool color as well. Then I also... At the first shop I went to, we went to the tip shop. It's at our recycling center and they just keep stuff that they might be able to resell. And this was the first shop I went to. Sometimes I get really lucky when I go there, but this time I didn't really find anything. I picked up these page protectors. Um, I actually don't really know what these are gonna be like inside. I need to open them up and have a look, but I thought I could maybe use them for storage or something. I also grabbed this old photo album that's still in the packet. So it's just like a, cling mount photo album again i don't actually know what i'm going to use this for um i probably won't use it for photos but i'm not sure yet i just grabbed that as well and then the only other thing i grabbed at that shop was this christmas plate i just thought this was so cute it's just a big christmas plate with a little christmas tree on it i'll probably just put this with our christmas stuff 
and use it maybe like to put out stuff for Santa or whatever it probably will become something that we just use at Christmas time or for decorating but I thought if not I could always use it to decorate my studio at Christmas time I always like to put little Christmassy touches around the studio and anything vintage Christmas is a win so I grabbed that just because it was really cute I also grabbed this tiny little bowl I'm just gonna put this in my daughter's dollhouse and wait for her to find it and she will think that's awesome that cost me 50 cents another linen that I got is this one and I just got it for the butterfly so that one and then I also grabbed these little handkerchiefs so I don't know I don't think they're actually vintage ones but I'm not sure there's some really pretty ones I thought this yellow one was really gorgeous and that kind of swayed me to get the rest of the packet so there's actually two yellows and then there's two blues and then this one I grabbed this without really knowing what it was it was actually a set of them I think these are like little place cards so you fold it maybe and then you put the name of the person at the table those are really cute they've got the gold embossing on them so i just grabbed a set of those i got these two folk art magazines and i grabbed them because they have really pretty patterns inside so patterns that you can paint and it teaches you how to paint stuff but i thought these floral designs were really pretty so some really pretty pages I can use and then same for this one as well. So yeah, I always look in the books and sometimes I get really lucky and get some really cool old books, but sometimes, well, a lot of the time you don't get lucky. And then the last thing that I got was another set of baskets. So this was at a different shop to the one where I got the green baskets. These ones are blue. And again, it's a set of two wire baskets and they are the kind that you can slip onto a shelf. So it's like under the shelf story. I just thought the color of this was really pretty. It's like a really light blue that will look nice in my studio. Good craft story. $2 on them. I'm not sure if the lady charged me $2 each or $2 for the pair, but still really good price either way. It is Thursday the 2nd of March. This week and last week I did not get as much work done as I usually would. I haven't been working like full days. I've just been doing little bits here and there because I just had some life stuff happening in the background. So I haven't really been working very hard, but today I really want to film a flip through of my journal. It's pretty much done. There's like a few pages that maybe I could do a little bit more on, but it's pretty done and I'm really eager to move into my new journal. So I want to film a flip through of this and share that as soon as possible. I also have a huge mess on my desk today. I have all of the thrifty finds that I found yesterday all over my desk. I have little scraps of paper all over my desk from doing some journaling. I've got like stickers and stuff like that all over my desk that I really need to clean up before I can do anything. I also wanna try and work some of these storage pieces into my studio, maybe do a little bit of like organization type of stuff in my studio, try to get some things put away nicely. I wanna clear off my workbench. I wanna build some covers. So I need to start building covers for my new journal collection. I wanna do a hardcover collection, I think. So I'm gonna build some covers, hopefully today or maybe tomorrow. I also need to water my plants. They're looking really sad and thirsty. And, and the other thing I've been doing is just doing some Etsy updates. So you guys may have noticed, probably not, but I've just been slowly updating my listings, just like the thumbnail picture I've been redoing. I am going to be doing some rebranding soon. I'm not rushing into this, but I'm gonna be doing some rebranding. I'm gonna bring it back to just my name. So it's gonna be Johanna Elisa Paper Treasures, or just Johanna Elisa, so that I can, um, I just feel like my name is going to work best for the direction that I want to go with my business. I want to sort of do some product stuff. I want to release my own stuff eventually and I just want to kind of have my name on it and I want to be able to do collaborations with other people and have my name on it and just be all under the same brand if that makes sense. So let me show you my shop. So um, at the moment it's a little bindy and this is my banner and this is... So this is one of the old, old thumbnail pictures. So for my vintage linen packs, banner across the middle looks like that, but I've just been gradually changing them to look like this. 
it's pretty hard to show you on my phone but I just like the look of this so much better I've created like a little logo that has a journal and then a little circle or like a little oval in the middle kind of to represent the windows that I always put on my journals it's just a very simple kind of look but I like that and also my name is in the same font as previously so little bindy and Johanna Alyssa I had those done by someone ages back and so I'm just going to use the same font it's going to have the same kind of vibe to it but gradually this is going to change and I'll have a new shop banner up there I've already created it but I haven't put all of the changes into place yet. I'm also going to order some new business cards and stuff like that eventually. But again, I'm not rushing into this. It's just a very gradual change. I had a lot of listings that I had to update. I'm nearly finished doing those now. It took a lot of time to do that. So I'm just gradually doing that. And that's also kind of what I've been working on this last week or two. I've been doing like little tasks that you don't necessarily feel like doing that aren't that fun to do. They have to get done nonetheless, but yeah they're not like lucrative tasks they're not fun tasks yeah i haven't been doing like the fun kind of work that i love to do like making videos and making journals and stuff like that i've just been doing like cleaning organizing stuff like that that's just kind of all of these little projects that just float around you kind of never get to them until you make time to do them so that's the kind of stuff i've been doing
you guys might remember this shelf from a thrift haul that I shared. It's just been sitting in my room because I couldn't decide if I wanted to paint it or not. It's just been sitting here for months. So I've finally decided I'm going to paint it and I'm probably going to put like a decal on it. So I've got some roses, but I'm going to paint it. I've got this light creamy green kind of color. So really soft color I think will look pretty. So I'm just going to paint this and then I'm probably going to get some hooks to hang on the bar here and then I don't know what I'm going to hang from here yet. It's Friday the 3rd of March. Today is going to be a pretty boring work day because I'm just going to be editing the journal flip through that I filmed yesterday. And then with whatever time I have left, I'm going to build some hardcover journal covers. That's pretty much all I'm going to have time to do today. So I'm going to be doing a lot of editing. Is the 6th of March. It's a Monday morning. It's about 11.30 so I have so far this morning just been priming some covers that I built over the weekend. So I started building them on Friday and then finished over the weekend and today I'm going to be painting some colors on the covers which is one of my favorite parts of the process. I've only made three of them because they're so big. But I do have some ideas for some smaller journals that I wanna make, which I will probably start working on soon and then I'll work on both different sets at the same time. On today's to-do list, I'm going to paint the colors on the covers. I am going to 
finished cleaning my studio so that it's going to be all ready to film a studio tour tomorrow which is really exciting as well so all i'm going to be doing is just organizing things just making sure things are in their place i'm not going to do anything too drastic it's going to be a real tour of how my studio is i'm not going to change it for the video but but i am going to clean it just as though you would if you had visitors coming to your space and specifically if i'm showing this space to you guys i want it to be organized and clean so i'm just going to do a little clean up later today i am probably going to finish this studio vlog today so that i can edit it and get that up for you guys before the studio tour and then i'll get the studio tour up and then i also need to film later this week a flip through of my new journal so lots of filming this week also going to be working on the new journal collections but but they're just in their very beginning stages so it's kind of um, more slower paced as I'm getting started and the ideas are kind of developing. But yes, I have sketched out a plan for the journal collection just on my iPad. I swatched some colors that I think I might like to paint the covers. So now I'm going to start painting the layers on the covers, which as I said, one of my favorite parts of the process. I feel like at this stage, when you're making the covers and you're adding the colors to the covers, that's really where they get so much personality and it kind of decides what choices I make from then on if that makes sense. So yeah I really enjoy that part. I also find it just really relaxing just to mix different colors and then just to paint layers on top of the covers until I'm happy with how they turned out. It's just one of my favorite parts. I just love it so much. on the 7th of March so it's Tuesday and this morning I filmed a studio tour I'm really excited to edit it I was gonna finish this vlog yesterday I was gonna finish up this vlog yesterday and show you guys a sneak peek of the journal covers after I painted them but I didn't get them painted I did paint the first few layers of paint but I didn't get them to a point where I was happy with the colors. So after I filmed the studio tour this morning, I've been adding more layers of paint. They're not completely done yet, but I wanted to show you the colors and the size of the journals. So they're a bit wet. This is a dark green one. Then we've got a creamy white one and then a light green one. I don't want to give too much away about what I'm doing with these journals yet because they're going to be quite a while till I get them done and they're still evolving but they are huge journal covers like probably some of the biggest that I've ever made to sell they're huge probably actually around the same size as my last personal journal but they're hard cover so they're really really big and there's only three of them I just wanted to say and let you guys know in case you don't know I do have a tutorial in my Etsy store on how I build my covers it is a beginner tutorial so if you already know how to build covers you might not find it useful but if you're someone who struggles with it or you can't quite get your hardcover journals quite right it could be helpful to you I also have a free tutorial on YouTube on how I do the window cover which is kind of my signature thing I will link the tutorial and the cover building class down below just in case you'd like to check them out I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this studio vlog as much as the last one. I hope you guys are all doing really well and I'll see you soon in my next video, which is going to be the studio tour. Bye.